How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. And it's time for another NHL 16 shootout commentary. And I can bet you guys know exactly what we're going to talk about today. The trading season has started. Blockbuster deal. Ryan Johansson traded to the Nashville Predators in exchange for Seth Jones going back to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Straight up, one for one. Man, I love this time of the year for the NHL. We're past Christmas, past New Year's, past the All-Star break. Now the general managers don't feel like assholes for trading people around the holidays, right? So expect to see more trades on the way. And, uh, I mean, this was a great one to kick it off. Let's get to the brass tacks. Let's talk about each player and what they bring to the, uh, to the new team that they're on. First, we'll talk about Seth Jones. And Seth Jones is a 21-year-old, 6'4", 208-pound defenseman who already has a wealth of NHL experience. I mean, the guy, he's got two full seasons underneath his belt. And as a 21-year-old, he already has 199 games played. So, I don't know what the right term is. He's certainly not a rookie, not a sophomore. I don't think he's a veteran yet, but he's somewhere in the middle right there. He's not a rookie who is yet to flourish. Uh, kind of unlike the uh, the kid who was drafted one spot ahead of him in 2013, Jonathan Drewin, right? So, the real deal here, Seth Jones, and... Considering Johansson, or Johansson, I always mess that up. Considering Johansson wasn't happy in Columbus, um, this trade doesn't surprise me from the Jackets' side. We all saw Johansson being traded, right? Um, yes, they gave up an elite young center to acquire this defenseman, but now they have, listen to this, they have the first defenseman drafted in 2013, which was Seth Jones, and they have the first defenseman drafted in 2012, Ryan Murray. I mean, that's filthy. Ryan Murray was taken second overall in 2012, and Jones was taken fourth overall in 2013. This could be the beginning of a long partnership between Murray and Jones. One's a lefty, one's a righty. Fantastic. All right, so I really like it from the Columbus Blue Jackets perspective. Get a guy out who doesn't want to be there anyways and bring in a young stud. And from Nashville's perspective, Ryan Johansson is a 23-year-old center who has come into his own in the last two seasons, putting up good point totals. Nashville finally solves their first-line center problem. I mean, they already have plenty of guys who can play center, like Ribeiro, uh, Wilson, Smith, uh, Fisher. But this is different. This is young elite skill, the likes of which Nashville hasn't had at center, I don't think ever, since, the B, since they've been brought into the league, right? So, very good trade. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Focus. No, I went the wrong way. Pekka Rene, the slap shot got me. It's got to be tough to give up on Seth Jones, but to acquire elite skill, you have to give up elite skill or something equivalent. And um, they still have Shea Weber, Roman Yossi, Ellis, and Ekholm. So, you know, the way I see it, the time for Nashville is right now. And this trade makes them better up front right now, instantly, right? So, solid trade, man, for both teams. We'll talk about uh, we'll talk about a little bit more after the shootout. Let's focus here, all right? Mike Ribeiro no longer has to be the man. Ryan Johansson style. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. No! Oh, Ribeiro. He goes down. I should have just put it in back end. It was wide open. I tried to do the reach around. Wow, that goalie. <laughs> He's a landmine right there. He ain't moving. All right, Palm and P coming up. I wonder if he's still hurting from today's uh, Live the Life episode. Well, Palm and P coming in. He kicks it. Stack. Oh, stacks the pads with Palm and P. Those filthy, dilthy hands. Somehow he gets it up and over. Oh, Pekka Rene. Doing his best uh, Mystery Alaska. Yeah, you guys taught me that or told me that in the last uh, last time I saw that. The role. It's from that movie Mystery Alaska. I couldn't uh, come up with the name. All right, here we go. Philip Forsberg. What can we do? Ah, uh, you know what? Let's not let's not mess around here. Here's a move. Here's a move. Fake shot. Outs up. <laughs> this guy loves his aggressive dirty bird. All right. It's the uh, it's the filthy bird, not the dirty bird. The filthy bird. He comes way out there, brother. The dirty bird is good to stop a backhand in tight. You don't want to be aggressive with it. Ah, uh, who am I to tell this guy what to do? He's beating me. Here we go. I gotta make a save. I'll show you it. Oh, the dirty bird! There it is, you see? You put that pad along the ice against the post. Backhand, he can't roof it. Mmm. Yeah, I must be clairvoyant. I saw that shit happening. James, the real deal, Neil. Uh, you know what? Let's rifle one, James. Let's rifle one. Let's figure out where he is and rifle it. Boom! <laughs> Imagine that hit him in the side of the head as he was on the ground. Whew, he just wanted to get out of the way of that. Oh, Jesus. James, you had the whole net to shoot at right there. You didn't have to be so uh, reckless. A little bit more conservative would have gotten you the same result. But he's the real deal, James Neal. He shoots the puck to go through the net, not just to score a goal. All right, here we go. Thomas Vanek. Here we go. Man, Minnesota's got plenty of those wingers, man. 
Here we go. Are you coming in? Oh, 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 I went the wrong way. He missed. I went the wrong way. Damn, man. I'm usually good at picking the right way with my stack to pads. I've gone wrong every time. Thomas Vanek. Heard of that contract. Let me tell you. Yarn crock. Uh, let's do a, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. Bingo. Bongo. Oh, the posto. He did the dirty bird the right way too, but I got it up. I did the, uh, the Houdini. Is that the Houdini? I forget the names. It's been a while since I pulled them off. Nice try there, brother. Maybe next time. What's the score? Are we in danger of losing? I, I can't I can't tell. Uh what do you got for me? Oh 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 oh, oh. Poo! Pecorene! A little bit more patient than you thought. Them fantastic fins can't be stopped. World junior champions, Kaspari Kapanen. We'll talk about that another time as well. Finally, some good news for the Leafs. Actually, what the hell am I talking about? Leafs are uh are doing pretty good. Mike Babcock. Best acquisition ever for Leafs. Oh, 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 Hodgson, Hodgson, around, around. Oh, he actually, I was waiting for him to commit with a dirty bird or a dive. He stayed right there with me and then dives over. <laughs> Could have just stayed there. All right, here we go. Suter, Sutter, Suter. I forget which, oh, no, no, glove that. All right, yeah, Suter, Suter. Right into my glove. All right, how can we end this? Hmm. Let's try, the spinorama is not going to work. Let's just try the Houdini. Not the Houdini, the uh, reach around. Here we go. Gostad, you better have the hands. Bingo. Uh, oh, the post. Second damn post I've hit. All right, game. We're going to turn this into a marathon, are we? Fine by me. Come on, make a save here, Pekka Rene. The fantastic fins. They won't mess up. Oh, shit. Oh, my ball oh, wasn't against the post. He beat me with that fake slapper once again. The clap. <laughs> Rene doesn't want to catch it. He gets out of the way. Oh, you youngins may not understand that. Here we go. Jackman. Uh, you know what? I'll do the same thing this mofo's doing. Here we go. Fake. Oh, Jackman! No wonder you're a defenseman. You goofball. Oh, and the Minnesota Wild take it. Sorry, boys. I couldn't come through for you Nashville fans. But who the who the hell cares what I do in a shootout with Nashville? You guys got Ryan Joe Hansen. So um, I want to I wanna put this question to you guys, you know? We've talked about the stats. I think, uh, you know, both teams... It's interesting. Would this trade have happened had Ryan Johansson not requested to be traded? I, did he request to be traded or did he just mention it? I forget exactly what he did. But, uh, you know, if he would have said, I want to be here for the rest of my career, would they have held on to him? Or is this a trade that happened because of the, uh, the scenario that Columbus was in? If it is, then the trade makes sense for both teams. Because, again, if Joe Hansen doesn't want to be there, get him out of there. You know, there's no point in having a uh, toxic locker room. Get him out of there. Plenty of chances. Plenty of players who want to perform in Columbus. So get him out of there. Uh, bring in a younger defenseman. Not a younger defenseman. A younger player who happens to be a defenseman. And... Um, Again, the future is going to tell to see who got the better end of this deal. But I want to put the question to you guys. Who do you think won this trade? If I have to choose, like I, I look at it like this. Both teams got something here. You know, both teams are winners. But that's a conservative answer. You guys want me to choose a side? Fine. If I have to choose, it's got to be the Columbus Blue Jackets. Like I said, considering that Johansson wanted out, I think the Jackets did a great job bringing back a quality piece for Johansson. They weren't forced into a trade. Um, they didn't lose this guy to free agency. You know, his value didn't diminish because they held on to him for so long. And then his, his not his skill, but his um, production went down. They got rid of him nice and quickly. And they bring back a younger player who happens to be a right-handed defenseman along with their left-handed defenseman, Ryan Murray. Very nice. So I got to give it to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Although the Nashville Predators, like I said, they want to win it right now. Johansson makes them better up front right now. So uh, very nice. I want to see what you guys have to say. Let me know and I'll see you in the next one.